there. How much do you think you know about Fortnite? Well, I have 69 facts for you to hear and I want to know how many you really know. Please like and subscribe because I'd like to do more of these videos. And if you'd like to support me, this is my code. My name is Adam Maru. Let's go. Did you know there's a physical version of Fortnite out in the world? A super limited run of discs were printed back in 2017. If you have an unopened copy, it's worth over $1,500 right now, and a standard version is worth about $100. In 50 years, these could be worth $10,000. So keep it safe if you have one. The name Battle Royale is in homage to a movie which spawned the genre, a cult Japanese film in which a class of students are thrown onto an island and forced to off each other until only one survives. It's really good, you should watch it. It has a sequel too. The youngest person to ever be banned from Fortnite was nine years old. Zenon was given a four year ban from competitive Fortnite due to being underage. What made it worse was all this happened live on stream. Hearing Zenon cry as his dad comforts him is truly heartbreaking. Did you know that each chapter of Fortnite has a gravestone added to mark something a community member has done? During chapter one, shouty Australian Muselk accidentally eliminated a player with a golf cart whilst trying to rescue him. Epic placed a gravestone to commemorate this and added tyres to help anyone stuck there in the future. In chapter two, a player accidentally swam off the waterfall and completely missed the water below, eliminating themselves. Epic again placed a gravestone to mark his passing. This means, now in chapter 3, you could be the next person to be immortalised for stupidity. Let me know if you become Fortnite famous from this. Epic Games has always been open to suggestions from its community and has done some crazy things to help them out. In chapter 1, a note could be found on a set of drawers in the house near Greasy Grove. This was an invite to prom from a player called Eric who wanted to combine the two things he loved. I hope she said yes. When Fortnite hit mobile phones, kids couldn't stop playing it, including in lessons at school. A teacher used Reddit to get in touch with Epic to ask them to add a message to his students. And they did. Mr. Hillman says stop playing in class was a random loading screen you could see on mobile. Recently, skilled designers have seen their creations added to Fortnite, with credit of course, but back in the early days, things were a little different. One kid named Connor designed a chicken trooper, and Epic loved it so much, it was added to the game as the tender defender. This is now commonplace, but back then, this was a humongous achievement. Other things added thanks to suggestions include thanking the bus driver. Something so simple, but it began life as a petition before Epic said, yeah, okay. The rise of Fortnite Battle Royale led to the fall of other games, such as Paragon, a multiplayer only battle arena. When Epic made the decision to turn off the service for Paragon, it freely gave away all the assets in the game. So if you are a budding developer, you can use $10 million worth of assets totally free. Not many people know this, but Paragon has a super rare banner in Fortnite. Players who had both games before Paragon was shut down forever received this beauty. And I have it, so I feel special. Limited edition banners were also given to creators, which is why Muselk has his own logo on his back bling. I didn't get one because at the time I only had 2,000 subscribers. By the way, like and subscribe. Speaking of Epic Games' older franchises, did you know a bunch of them can be found in-game over the years? The Rust Lord wears a pin badge with a U on it, representing the Unreal Engine which Fortnite created and updates. In fact, almost every game you've ever played was likely made in Epic's Unreal Engine. Low texture posters and pictures can be found around the world, such as Jazz Jackrabbit, an old action platformer from Epic Games. We have Unreal Tournament and the Facing Worlds map, a first person shooter which only 90s kids remember. There's also Shadow Complex, an old Xbox Live arcade platformer. And one more, there's this one. It looks like Mortal Kombat for mechs. The game was called One Must Fall. It was, it was dreadful. The Unreal Engine and Fortnite share another bond. Fortnite back in 2017 was the first game to ever be developed for the Unreal Engine 4. And then it happened again. Fortnite became the first game to be developed on the next engine, Unreal 5. Here's another 90s reference you may have missed. The milk carton found in many kitchens is taken from a music video, Coffee and TV by Britpop band Blur. These changed over the years. There are still one or two you can find. The Fortnite developers will even reference themselves. Did you know that the island in the center of the chapter two map was shaped to be exactly the same dimensions as the original chapter one island? Extremely subtle, and I never noticed this until I was told last week. Speaking of the islands, do you know their names? Chapter one is called Athena, chapter two is Apollo, and chapter three is Artemis. All of these names are taken directly from Greek mythology. Athena is named after the Greek goddess of wisdom, war, weaving, and crafts. Apollo is the god of archery, music, 
and the sun. And then there's Artemis, who is the twin sister of Apollo, the goddess of hunting, wilderness, animals, and the moon. Oh, and chastity. Did you know the first player to reach 100,000 eliminations was HD, High Distortion, who pips Ninja to this world record. I checked the stats again, and as I'm saying this right now, the current player with most elims is called Ship. 354,361 elims. They probably have more now, though. Ship also holds the record for most Fortnite wins. All 32,635 of them. Disgusting. And if you wanted to know who has the most time played in Fortnite, it's someone called Prime Salad, who has played for over 629,000 minutes. That's 437 days of non-stop Fortnite. I'm not sure if that's impressive or that guy just needs a hug. The record for the longest game of Fortnite was won by one of the X2 twins. The game lasted one hour, 52 minutes and 48 seconds. The longest heal off in history. Ninja has his own record to be proud of. The first pickaxe added for a creator was Ninja and the Plunger pickaxe. He begged Epic to make a new cosmetic item to buy and suggested a katana and a plunger as a joke. Epic made the joke a reality. The first creator to have something added to the battle pass was CDN the third. His positivity emblem was embraced by Epic who wanted to share it with the entire community. Another creator, Cypher PK, had an in-game item added too, a book at his favorite drop spot to represent the playbook as he taught Fortnite players to be less useless. Hut Watch, the long-running series from PlayStation Grenade. Oh, that's me. Hut Watch was officially added to the files during Chapter 2, as a new building was erected near Catty Corner. Epic Games was partially bought out by Chinese company Tencent in 2013. They paid $330 million for 40% of Epic Games. Right now, Epic is worth more than $30 billion, meaning Tencent's investment has made them around $12 billion. Wow. The key reason Tencent was allowed to join was to get Epic and their games into the Chinese demographic. But that hasn't gone so well. Firstly, all skulls were removed from Fortnite due to it being highly inappropriate in China. Then the Chinese government limited the number of hours children could play games and made monetization close to impossible. So Epic and Tencent pulled the plug. RIP Fortnite China. Back in Fortnite Chapter 1, toilets down at Flush Factory could change color representing gender specific pinks and blues. This was removed because as we all know, there are officially 99 genders. I don't make the rules, just the jokes. Did you know the rune language used on Kevin the Cube was actually taken from another game, Infinity Blade, an ancient text from medieval times? And did you know where Kevin got his name? Legend has it that it's thanks to the Fortnite Reddit. As we all know, moderators are power hungry losers with an Oedipus complex. Suddenly, they decided to ban the word cube, forcing users to change their word. One person started using Kevin, and now it's law. Epic have cancelled a few updates over the years, including new items. The Storm Tracker backpack was in game for 30 minutes before it was yeeted. This let players see the next Storm Circle to plan out their rotations. That back bling so happens to be another rare item only given to founders of Save the World, the other Fortnite game. Rose Team Leader and the Skirmish back bling are now collector's items. Another abandoned item was the Beehive Grenade. You heard me right, a nade which spawned bees to sting your opponents and now I want it. More recently, a Family Guy crossover was either scrapped after players found assets in the files or it was accidentally made public and the real thing will be coming later in the year. The comic book series crossover between DC and Fortnite had a secret shadowy character added, Samus Aran from Metroid, yet she never came to Fortnite, or at least not yet. So it's 2022 and crossovers and cross-platform play is natural to us all. Well, that always wasn't the case. Back in 2017, Sony didn't want their audience mixing with Nintendo, Xbox or PC. Somehow, Epic just made it happen anyway, claiming it was an error. The community loved it, and eventually, Sony accepted all gamers like to play together. There have been two hidden minigames in Fortnite to find. During Chapter 2, a skiing game could be found on Deadpool's computer hidden through an air vent. The second was during downtime in Chapter 1. By using the famous Konami code, we could play a fast food themed Galaxians. On release, Fortnite Battle Royale praised PUBG for its inspiration. This led to PUBG's publisher to sue Epic Games for deliberately using another product to help raise awareness of their own. This dispute was settled out of court and we still don't know if any money changed hands. This was the first of many legal battles in Epic and Fortnite's history. The most noteworthy was a group of celebrities who attempted to sue Epic for emotes and designs inspired by them. Calton from The Fresh Prince knew this emote was all about him, yet his case was rejected after footage of him was found admitting he stole this dance anyway. This happened all over again when the backpack kid tried it, and it so happens that he stole the floss from another person too. 
Thankfully, Epic learned from all this and began paying artists and making official emotes instead of taking them without permission. Epic have also sued many people through the years, including a 14-year-old boy in 2017 who reverse-engineered the Fortnite code to find ways to cheat. He then shared them with the world and generally ruined Fortnite for everyone else in his lobbies. When Epic decided to sue Apple, they did so in a genius way. The video in which Bright Bomber breaks the screen is actually a recreation of an Apple advert from the 1980s. Back then, Apple was complaining against big companies controlling the industry. Epic decided to show them they have become the thing they set out to fight. Very meta. Very true. During the Epic vs Apple case, did you know that one session came down to this guy, Peely, and if a naked banana was offensive? Really? How basic is that? Nobody told them Donald Duck doesn't wear any trousers. Here's a strange one. How long do you think it took the Battle Royale team to make the Battle Royale game mode? Two months. That's it. Just two months. That is... wow. During the prime of Fortnite, it was possible to receive a university scholarship if you were great at Fortnite. $4,000 were given to budding pros to get the education they need to set up their life if going pro didn't happen. The Fortnite World Cup gave away $40 million, but it's not the most ever awarded. That title goes to Dota 2, who paid a few thousand dollars more to reclaim that mantle. The difference is much wider when the highest paid players are taken into account. Fortnite World Cup champion Booga received $3.2 million for his work, whereas the Dota champ took home over $7 million. Wow. At the Fortnite World Cup, did you notice two players always receiving boos? They were Ronaldo and Ziff, who are dirty, dirty cheating players who served the two week ban for cheating, but then they were allowed back in. The crowd made sure they were remembered as cheats. So GG crowd. Did you know Fortnite is canon in three hugely important franchises? Firstly, it's played in Marvel's Avengers, a movie set in the future, even though that POI doesn't exist anymore. It's also canon in Star Wars. The live event in Chapter 2 Season 1 gave us a monologue from Palpatine as he declares his return from being thrown down a ventilation shaft a few decades earlier. And thanks to the recent comic book crossover with Batman, the DC world is forever linked to Fortnite. So when you're watching Christian Bale or playing the Arkham games, always remember that in one timeline, that Batman came to this island and escaped the loop. It's law, it's canon. The original meteor we all expected to hit Tilted Towers was confirmed by the mustard we call Donald to have changed its destination. The plan was to smash Tilted, but as too many of us expected that, he and his team changed the location to troll the fanbase, and therefore made us expect the unexpected. That meteor eventually landed at Dusty Depot, yes I say Depot, and the building erected around it was designed to look like the crater where Thor lost his hammer in the movies. You know that hammer, that meow meow. Here's one I'm sure you know. The only person who can lift Thor's hammer in a game of Battle Royale is Captain America, showing that Epic pay attention to the law of other properties. You know the most hated video on YouTube is the Rewind of 2018. Well, that video has many Fortnite references, including Ninja being the bus driver and Nick A30 just being all cute and Nick A30 like. Oh, any cute. Did you know friendly fire was a thing in Fortnite? Up until March 2018, it was possible to shoot your own teammates. The trolling got so bad in squad film matches that Epic had to remove it completely. Another update which was quickly removed was all about physics and boobs. Yeah, for a short period of time, this emote caused Calamity's fun bags to jiggle. I can't believe I'm saying this. So I may as well continue. The Save the World version of Penny had her chest covered when moving to Battle Royale to make her appearance less suggestive and more child friendly. Here's a good one. When Coral Castle was added, the code name was shown instead of its real name, Carl, which is a nod to The Walking Dead and how Rick Grimes pronounces Carl. It's kind of like Coral. Hey, Carl. Carl. The original long-standing elimination record for a solo game was set by Elemental Ray, who broke down a ramp during the first ever live event to net himself 48 kills. 13 eliminations past the previous record. In Chapter 3, the Rock's Foundation character has just become unlocked with this emote. And did you know, to allow this, Epic had to add two extra bones to the model to allow the eyebrow to do that. And did you know, only 1 in 10 people can raise one eyebrow on its own. You're trying right now, aren't you? Hmm, me too. So, how did you do? Out of 69, what did you get? Let me know in the comments, and let me know if you'd like a part two of this, because I know at least another 200 stupid questions. I hope you want more. I'm Adam, you're awesome. See ya!